Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any question regarding any of my videos, please feel free to send me an email to walkwithtag at gmail.com and I will answer your email as quickly as I could. And recently, a viewer asked me, what is the best way to steam food in the wok? And I told her the best way is to use a bamboo steamer, which is designed for steaming in a wok. A bamboo steamer is a very versatile tool and most of the time when I do my steaming, I steam it in a stainless steel wok. Now there are different ways to steam in a wok. In here I use a stand, uh, which I can put a plate on top of it. But uh, this is probably the not the most efficient way, and in this case you have to have a wok cover. Now the next better option is to use a bamboo steamer. Now the bamboo steamer is very effective because it is able to capture the heat much better than any other steaming device. And in this case, if you use a large bamboo steamer, such as a 12 inch one, which I would recommend, you can actually put a plate in the bamboo steamer. And when you put your food in the plate, you can be very creative how to arrange different food ingredients in the plate. And you can actually create an all meal in one in a single plate. Here is a good example which my friend uh, Jim frequently used his bamboo steamer for. Uh, he would start out with some cooked rice and he would season the rice with my basic seasoning mix, uh, which you can find it on Amazon now. And uh, I have left a link below the video. Uh, the basic seasoning mix is excellent for steaming uh, because it provides umami flavor to the dish. Now in this case, then you can layer different ingredients on top of the rice with vegetables or meat, whatever you would like. And then you can put the entire plate uh, on top of the bamboo steamer. This will allow you to cook all meal in one as shown in here. Uh, once you put the cover on, you will find that it captured the heat extremely well. In fact, all you have to do is to set the burner to low. You can also steam food directly in a bamboo steamer by placing a piece of parchment paper. Uh, this will prevent the food to stick to the bottom of the bamboo. And in this case, you simply use the parchment paper and by cutting some holes in it, and this will prevent the food from sticking. However, there are times you might want to put food directly in the bamboo steamer. For example, in here, I steam some just sweet corn. So as you can see that the bamboo steamer has many, many different possibilities. So it is very effective and efficient for you to have a bamboo steamer on hand. And in this case, you can steam almost anything you want, uh, either by putting them in, into a dish or by just putting the food directly in the steamer. I usually steam my food in my 14-inch Cusina stainless steel wok. The steel steel wok has advantage because it will not rust. However, you can also steam in a carbon steel wok. In this part of the video, I would like to tell you a little bit about the pros and cons of steaming in a carbon steel wok. As you can see, this carbon steel wok is well seasoned. You can see the reflective oil layer on the surface of the wok. And carbon steel wok uh, is important for it to have this oily layer. Now, when you steam food in a carbon steel wok because you boil water in it, as you can see in this particular case, the oily layer has been removed. The oily layer turned out to be really important uh, in protecting the surface of the wok. Uh, without this oily layer, uh, the wok can become rusted if you let it sit for a period of time. And here is a demonstration of what happened when that occurred. A lot of time after you use the wok for steaming, you will notice that the wok become rusted. The reason is very simple, because the oil has been removed from boiling water in the wok, and this leads the wok susceptible to rusting. However, you don't need to be alarmed because you can restore the oily layer right on the surface of the wok by using my spot seasoning method. The spot seasoning method is very simple. It can restore a wok like this uh, to its non-stick cooked surface uh, easily. And in this case, you just simply heat up the oil uh, in the wok until it starts to smoke gently and you let it to smoke for about 15 seconds. And this is the, when the time when the wok is seasoned. As you can see in here, uh, I start out with a wok that has removed the oily layer and uh, I now able to fry an egg in it without any problem, without the egg have to stick to the surface of the wok at all. Uh, using this method, uh, you can feel free to use the wok for steaming 
even though when you boil water in the wok, you know that the uh, oily surface will be removed and the seasoning will lead to uh, the rusting of the wok. But using my spot seeing method, you can quickly restore it back into its uh, original shape. And like in here, after I fry the egg, uh, the wok retain its uh, shiny appearance. So what happened is that uh, when you boil water during steaming, this will be result. And to prevent that from happen is that you can use some just spray oil, such as Pam, and you can spray just a touch onto a piece of paper towel. And you can use this paper towel and to rub the surface of the wok gently. Now this way, if you want to put the wok away after you use the wok for steaming, uh, you can keep the wok protected by rubbing this oily uh, surface, and this will prevent the wok from rusting. This is a very effective way uh, so that you can use your carbon steel wok for steaming anytime you want as long as you protect it after you uh, finish steaming. Or uh, next time when you use the wok, just use the spot seasoning method and that will restore the non-stick cook surface. And after you finish cooking, the oily surface layer will remain and this will prevent the wok from rusting at all. However, if you use a stainless steel wok, you don't have to worry about that at all because stainless steel wok will not rust. And that's the reason that I prefer a stainless steel wok uh, with its convenience as well as its flexibility. However, if you do have a carbon steel wok, you still can use it for steaming. And now, uh, there are different types of bamboo steamers and some of them are a little bit uh, more elaborate. Uh, like this is a very simple one and is relatively uh, effective in almost steam anything you want. Bamboo steamer usually comes in two sizes, a 10 inch and a 12 inch. I would recommend you to get a 12 inch bamboo steamer because it is more flexible. You can put a plate directly in the bamboo steamer that will allow you to create a complete meal. So. Uh, I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. And if you would like to learn more about this cooking system to make your home cooking practical, efficient, creative, fun, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.